The fastest way for you to learn to code in 2021 and become a software developer is what we'll be learning about in this video. Hey everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and today I'll be giving you a lot of roadmaps, okay? A lot of you want to know a structured pathway that you can take to become a software developer. This can be game development, Android development, uh, web development, machine learning, and data science and and you know tons and tons of other things as well data structures and algorithms if you want to learn all of these things today i'll be giving you the roadmaps that you can use to learn them okay so i think a lot of you are facing the problem of knowing where to start from okay this is the biggest problem a lot of people have they don't know where to start from what resources to use and what to do next so that's why I thought I would make this video. Make sure that you hit the like button and share this video with your friends. That's all I ever ask for. This will be really valuable for all of you. So starting off from the most important part, this has to be data structures and algorithms. Everyone is, you know, on to this. They want to learn DSA so that they can crack the interviews. So let's take a look at what all is here. This is the dev article that you can use. Um, I have the links to all of these things in the description. You can have a look to them, but here it is mindset what do you need to know before starting dsa right uh, then it is don't be afraid of the mathematical part what all do you need to know into mathematics before you go on to learning about dsa then we also look at what is dsa essentially right there are some good examples that you can look at the relationship between ds and algorithm that is what is here and yeah here are some good books and resources that you can use okay so you can have a look at all of these um, there are some good books over here there are some good resources that you can look at free paid what are the different types of data structures and how can you start learning them you can have a look at this arrays linked lists and so on and so forth then we have a design pattern all of these things are available to you just look at this and you can get started with your another one is just going to be like a more of a roadmap or i should say like a explainer of what all of these data structures are about and what are these algorithms are used for so if i just go down a little bit i can show you exactly what is there yeah so what is data structures what are the different types of data structures what is an algorithm you can see all of these things are presented to you in a nice way everything is explained very well i think these are the two really great articles that you can learn the pathway for you to become better at data structures and algorithms okay so again this will be linked in the description you can have a look at them they talk about stacks queues they are just getting you familiarized with these particular topics what are these data structures like how can you use them um, using some helpful examples that you can learn from also make sure that you have liked this video if you have not already but anyways this is the basic web development roadmap okay this is made by devsoc who uh, it's basically like a club that I am a part of in Bits Goa. And so the people who are experienced in web development have made this roadmap, sharing their experiences and their learnings, right? So we have basic web development. Yeah, you can see all of these things, what all is required, JavaScript, front end, back end. Uh, let me just zoom out a little bit. So yeah, this is the complete roadmap. As you can see, it's quite extensive. You can learn pretty much everything from over here. You have JavaScript. This is a great Udemy course that you can do. This is how you can learn DOM. So look, basically, if you click on this link, right, this this purple uh, link, it will get you to a different website. Okay, so this is like a YouTube video that you can take a look at and you can learn about what this is about what is dom so there's what you can have a look at then you also have many project ideas that you can try out um, i won't go through all of these things you can have a look at them afterwards i'm just giving you a taste of what this is about okay all of these things are linked just click on this link over here and you will get to this place okay this is going to be golden for you out there if you are finding it difficult to understand um, where can i learn web development from okay these are some great tutorials from w3 schools this is a more detailed course of javascript this is a more of a crash course of javascript just click on this and see what it is about um, and this is a great way for you to learn to code once you know the path that you can take to start learning to code it is going to be a lot easier for you to you know just get started and get everything done this is javascript you can learn what is javascript exactly so all of these things are very well explained then you have, obviously you have front end how can you learn html all topics covered in html uh, you know w3 schools interactive tutorials mini project ideas and some explainer about all of these so this is a beginner friendly course this is uh, if you have some doubts about specific contents 
and w3 schools so all of these things are there for you to understand how it all works okay you want to learn css take a look at this css crash course detailed course interactive tutorials mini project ideas okay just click on this and start executing and start building up your own ideas uh, right i think this is a great resource from for you to learn about all of these things right let me just go back here yeah so this is what we have this is front end and if you go to back end you will also find apis right so there's a rest api course that you can have a look at most of them are youtube videos some of them might be courses that you will have to pay for but a lot of them are just simple videos okay they also talk about postman how can you download postman postman tutorial for you to just create and document apis then you have frameworks that you can learn in node js uh, let me just go back yeah node js here it is where can you learn them from i hope you get the gist of how these things work okay so this four basically means learn this at the very end okay the first thing to do is to learn about this apis number two is to learn about node.js number three is to learn about um, frameworks like express.js then you get on to the databases part so here you have multiple databases that you can look at and there's also some udemy course that you can buy if you want to but this is what is a web development roadmap going to look like and here we also have something called as a mobile development roadmap again developed by the same people at devsoc and they do have a lot of experience that they are sharing with you so yeah if you want to learn native and development this is where you need to start from um you know complete all of these steps and then you can start moving ahead i don't have much experience in mobile development so i won't talk much about this but yeah you can learn java you can learn xml you can learn about all of these things one by one and you can become a great android developer then you have react native then you go to uh, flutter and what all do you need to learn in flutter right so they have divided everything into weeks so week one you learn about dart the second week it is intro to flutter then we have widgets making simple layouts in flutter doing some more stuff so that's how these things basically work out let's move on to the next part then uh, here we have machine learning okay so this is going to be a really vast roadmap as you can see on your screen it looks gigantic uh, this was actually made by a fellow youtuber called as daniel borg i hope i'm pronouncing the name correctly but basically he did this amazing job of making this amazing roadmap so kudos to him for doing something amazing like this but basically you can look at what all do you need to learn in machine learning okay this is a very much extensive field and so it's important for you to understand everything about it and this is what is going to help you out with this okay so here are some processes that you need to understand in machine learning then if you go to this part here you will find tons and tons of resources that you can look at articles videos courses everything is covered over here you start off with python so you can look at this course there's also this book called as automate the boring stuff then we have data science okay so what all do you need to learn in data science it will be presented over here some coursera courses some udemy courses everything is presented to you over here i am so excited for something like this because back when i was starting with machine learning when i was in my first year i did not have this guidance and because you have this i think it's going to be a game changer for all of you okay uh, but yeah also make sure that you share this video with your friends that is going to be really important but yeah here is everything that you need to learn uh, let's click at any of these and see what these are going to be this is going to be a book that you can take you can also find multiple pdfs of these books available online if you want to get for free um, let's see what else then we have stats and probability mathematics cloud services that you can look at and rules and tidbits that you should understand all of these things are available here what bookmarks you should uh, do and then we have data sets where can you find some great data sets to make models out of them cool resources how i actually learned all of this right so all of these resources are linked right here for you to take a look at okay so machine learning tools uh, then we have machine learning mathematics what's running under the hood when you are writing the code this is really extensive as you can see right so this is all about the processes you can look at so yeah i will not be talking much more about this because you can figure it out yourself but this is just what you can do then we also have a game developer uh, resources or sort of a roadmap that you can take up okay so let's take a look at this you basically have game development right the basics of game development 
so these are some youtube videos that you can look at um, how can you get started with unity then we go on and we learn about other topics like 2d platformer games how can you make some 3d games then let's see we go on to the intermediate part of unity uh, animation in unity particle systems all of these things are available to you just click on this and you will be able to just binge through all of the playlists start executing start making some games and you will learn a lot in the process okay so yeah then we also get to blender and that's pretty much it okay guys that's all i wanted to share with you today in this video i hope you enjoyed and learned something from this um, please share this video with as many people as possible hit the like button if you have not already uh, but i just wanted to make sure that you get the best resource out there okay and we are just about to hit 60,000 subscribers and i'm so grateful for this achievement i just want to thank all of you for being here with me for supporting me watching my video sharing with other people now i am also coming up with a small giveaway that i can give out for all of you that will be happening in the next coming live stream so stay tuned for that that should happen after this video goes live um, so yeah you can look at that too but that's pretty much it thank you everyone for joining me here and i'll see you all in the next video okay bye bye